Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video here at Oakley Home Access. We hope that this video finds you safe and healthy during the resurgence of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, today, we want to talk to you a little bit about a ramp rental that we recently did because we feel as though it is a textbook, uh, textbook case of how we want ramp rentals to work. You might have heard Justin say in the past that about 90% of our work is done on a crisis management basis where somebody's already had a fall or they're currently in a facility and they require this equipment quickly to get home. That other 10% is where it's done in a proactive sense where it is fall prevention um, for somebody who's already you know, safe in their home and is just thinking ahead, um, realizing that they may have some barriers in their house that they need to work on. Now this case here, unfortunately the fall already did occur on these front stairs where somebody was having difficulty getting down the stairs um, suffered a lower extremity fracture and required one of our ramp rentals for a period of two months where they were non-weight bearing and then they progressed to partial weight bearing and eventually were able to walk up the ramp with their walker. Now once they were you know, ready to do the stairs again, we did come in and we removed the ramp, but we also provided them with some fall prevention for the future because ultimately if we were just to pull out that ramp, they would still have the, you know, the same unsafe situation that they started with and resulted in a fall. So if you look at the door here, you can see, you know, the difficult curve that they have going up those couple of stairs, um, as well as there is nothing to hold on to, except for the wrought iron railings that are on the right side. And that would require the client to walk over there without anything to hold on to. So when we did remove the ramp, we made sure that we set them up with hand railings on that left side, um, which allows them to grab the first railing from the level of the walkway, come around that turn and do those final two steps, um, whether they're getting their mail or if they're picking up a package, and then they're able to enter the home barrier free um, without any obstacles because they do have the hand railings there. Now, ultimately, if this was done proactively, it may have prevented that fall that ultimately landed them in a hospital and a nursing home for a period of time. Um, the rest of the home is on one level and it's a great setup for aging in place and we hope that they have lots of years of success in this home. Um, they did have a minor setback, but with a few modifications at that front door as well as some in the bathroom, we think that they have a great setup for years to come. If you have any other questions, please check out our website or give us a call if you'd like to set up a home assessment at 401-429-3882. We hope you continue being safe and healthy and we'll see you next time. Thank you.